Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another Fallout video for you, my Fallout brothers and sisters. Well, Fallout 76 is not too far away. And we do have some information about some of the perk cards that are out there now. A lot of people are wondering, we love all the information. So we have some information here of just some of the perk cards. Now, we're not, I'm not going to be able to give you every single thing that's in some of these perk, perk cards, especially with their rankings, but I do have some information here that is pretty interesting. And remember that these perk cards are not just yours, but you can also share these with party members as well. Now, let's get into it. It's a rather lengthy list. So, we have our usual, the special system, right? Our strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck perks. Now, those are something we're all very familiar with within the Fallout universe. So here are the cards. We're going to go through Strength first. So one of the cards is called Bandolier. Now, Rank 1 and 2 are unknown at this time, but Rank 3 um, is a Ballistic Weapon ballistic weapon Ammo weighs 90% less. So that's awesome. Yay. Uh, batteries Included is another card. Rank 1, Energy Weapon Ammo weighs 30% less. Two, rank 2 and 3, however, are unknown. Another card called Bear Arms. Bear is in rawr, I'm a bear. Um, rank one, heavy guns weigh 20% less, and rank two, heavy guns weigh 40% less. And rank three and four for those cards are unknown. Uh, another strength card, the Bullet Shield. All ranks one through four are unknown, so we're not sure what they're gonna do for that one, but it's probably self-explanatory. It probably won't take as much damage from a bullet. Um, another card is Expert Heavy Gunner. Rank one, your non-explosive heavy guns now do plus 10% damage. And rank two and three of that is unknown. The Expert Slugger. Your two-handed melee weapons now do plus 10% damage in rank two and three. It's also unknown. Now, you're going to hear a lot of this because we don't have all the information yet. This is just some information that has been gleaned uh, from places. Gladiator. Um, rank one. Your one-handed melee weapons now do plus 10% damage. And for rank two and three, those go up another 10%. So 20% for two and 30% for rank 3. Sturdy Frame. Uh, rank 1, 2, and 3 are unknown. The Through Hiker. Uh, rank 1, food and drink weighs, weights are reduced by 30%. And in rank 2, that goes up another 30%. So it's reduced by 60%. Rank 3 is, however, unknown. Your Traveling Pharmacy. Yeah, we all know someone like this, right? Right, 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 right? Weight of all chems are now reduced by 30%. The rank two and three for this, sadly, are unknown. The Vampire. <laughs> um, rank one, blood packs now satisfy thirst. No longer irradiate and heal for 50% more. Rank two and three are unknown. So I'm all, but as long as I don't glitter, sparkle glitter, that's fine. Now your perception per cards, um, which is, you know, all about the awareness and accuracy of everything out there. Um, Butcher's Bounty, rank one, two, and three are unknown. Uh, another name is Concentrated Fire, rank one. Every VAT's attack on the same body part gains 10% accuracy and damage. Now remember, there will be VAT's in Fallout 76. They'll just work a little differently than what we're used to. And uh, rank two for that, um, your VAT's attack will be 50% accuracy and damage. And for rank three, we'll go 20% accuracy and damage. Now, green thumb is also part of the, another card. You have a 25% chance to reap twice as much when harvesting flora. And rank two and three are unknown. The night person. Um, gain plus one intelligence and plus one perception between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Or if you drink a lot, you just won't. Uh, rank two and three, unknown. I am going to butcher this word, so forgive me. A panapichotrographic assist. You hear directional audio when in range of a magazine. That is your rank one perk on that one. Um, Percepti bobble. You hear directional audio when in range of a bobblehead. Now, I think that's really cool. I like that idea, especially when there's a magazine. Because with the other, like, Fallout 4 and whatnot, you, you know, you're like, oh, a magazine. Well, this is nice to know that, oh, hey, I hear a bobblehead. I hear a magazine. I will go get it. I think that's really awesome. Refractor is another card. Gain plus five energy resistance for rank one. And rank two through four are sadly unknown. Now your endurance per cards. One is called all night long, baby. Yeah. Rank one, 
unknown. Isn't that the sad truth, though? We've all had relationships like that, so stop it. Aqua Girl is also another card. And your rank one perk, you will no longer take rad damage from swimming and can breathe now underwater. Yay! Drome Dairy, um, one, rank one, all drinks quench thirst by additional 15%. And two and three are sadly unknown. Professional drinker. We all know that guy. <laughs> Rank one, there's no chance you'll get addicted to alcohol. Well, that's good. We all need that per card. Revenant, gain 25% damage bonus for two minutes when a player revives you. Rank two is unknown, but they'll probably do another percentage above that. Slow Metabolizer. Rank one, all food satisfies hunger for an additional 15%. Now, remember, in this one, we will be hungry, and uh, yeah, we will be thirsty, so we're going to have to make sure we are paying attention to that, or we will die. Rank 2 and 3 for Slow Metabolizer is also unknown. Vaccinated. Rank 1 is at oddly unknown, but rank 2, chance of catching a disease from creatures is reduced by 80%. Now, your Charisma per cards, we have Animal Friend. Now, Charisma is where, you know, help you find uh, uh, the good side, the bonuses of interactions with other players, which, you know, we used to have this in Fallout 4, which we know we can suck up to uh, other um, NPCs, and they'll do our bidding. It's great. It's awesome. Animal Friend, the ranks for that are unknown. Bloodsucker, rank 1. Stim packs now satisfy thirst. No longer irradiate and heal 50% more. Rank 2 and 3, unknown. Bodyguards. Gain 6 damage and energy resist. Max 18 for each teammate excluding you. Rank 2. Gain 8 damage and energy resist. Max 24 for each teammate excluding you. Rank 3 and 4 are unknown. Friendly Fire. Um, all those ranks are sadly unknown. Happy Camper. Rank 1. Hunger and Thirst grow 40% more slowly when in camp or in a team workshop. Which makes sense. You know, you're closer to the fridge. Uh, rank 2. Hunger and Thirst grow 40 80%, so it's up another 40%, more slowly than in camp or in team workshop. Happy-go-lucky, rank 1, your luck to, is increased by 2 while under the influence of alcohol. Rank 2 for that is unknown. Hard bargain, buying and selling prices at vendors are better. Yay. 2 and 3 are unknown. Inspirational, when you are on a team, gain 5% more XP, which makes sense. That's what they do in a lot of other MMOs out there, so I am not at all surprised by that. The Lone Wanderer is going to be my favorite card. When adventuring alone, take 10% less damage and gain 10% AP regen. So that's good. And plus, you will get a um, percentage of, um, I'm not sure what the percentage is, but you will get a higher percentage of da uh, being able to d deal damage uh, to all the uh, robots and ghouls in the super mutants in the world. And trees, apparently. And rank 2 and 3 for Lone Wanderer are unknown. Outlaw, all those ranks, sadly, unknown. But Party Girl, rank one, unknown. But rank two, the effects of alcohol are doubled. <laughs> Philanthropist, restore some of your teammates' hunger and thirst when you eat or drink. Yep, yep, yep. And Quack, revive other players with liquor. <laughs> Spiritual Healer, you generate health for a certain amount of seconds after reviving another player. The rest of ranks, unknown. Squad Maneuvers, run 10% faster when a part of a team. Strange in numbers. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if teammates are mutated too. Suppressor. Your target's damage uh, percentage, 50% for 3 seconds. You attack. All those other ranks, unknown. Team Medic. Your stim packs now also heal nearby teammates for half the normal strength. Other ranks, unknown. Now Intelligence. Contractor. Crafting workshop items now cost 25% fewer materials. Exotic weapons. You can now craft rank 1 exotic weapon mods. Plans, of course, are required. Exotic weapons master. Unknown, but I like the name of it. First aid, Simpax restore 10% more lost health. And I'm sure that goes up with the other ranks, but they are unknown right now. Workshop items also. I miss one. I suck. Grease monkey, where your rank 1 workshop items are 30% cheaper to repair. Hacker, gain plus 1 hacking skill. And rank 2 terminal lockout time is reduced when things go wrong. Makeshift armor. Your melee weapons are 30% less likely to break and cheaper to repair. Master hacker. Gain plus 1 hacking skill and terminal lockout time is reduced. Science. You can now craft energy guns. Plans, of course, are required. Agility perks, my friends. We're almost done. Adrenaline. Unknown. Dodgy. Spend 30 action points to avoid 10% of each enemy attack. 
Goat legs take 80% less damage when falling. That is your rank two. And Gung Fu, we don't know yet, but it's a gun, so self-explanatory. And marathoner, marathoner, sprint, <laughs> sprinter, con, sprinting consumes 30% fewer fact action points. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Mr. Sandman is also unknown. Your luck per cards will be. Can do. Rank 1, 50% chance to find an extra canned food when you search any food container. Luck of the draw, your weapon has a 10% chance to regain um, condition when hitting an enemy. Mysterious survivor, or mysterious savior, rather. All unknown. Mysterious stranger. Oh, yes, the mysterious stranger. Rank 1, unknown. The Rank 2, the mysterious stranger appears more often when using bats. You know, just kind of like in the other games. Mystery meat. Ooh, we've all had that in school, haven't we? Stim packs generate an excessive edible meat. Higher rads improve the chance. Scrounger. Rank 1. A 50% chance to find extra ammo when you search an ammo container. And rank 2 and 3 are unknown. And starch genes is the last one in this. Rank 1 unknown. And rank 2, you will never mutate from rads. And rad away will never cure mutations. So my friends, those are some of the things right there. Now remember, everything is new. Everything is what it is right now, but everything can and most likely will change as we get closer to the release date, especially in October of Fallout 76. Now don't take every single thing of these um, to heart, to stone. At least use a lot of these as what could be, because I'm a big believer, especially when you get in the betas, when they're doing alpha testing, especially when they're doing in-house stuff, that we, they, they'll, they'll put some stuff out there, some stuff will get leaked, and then they will change and we'll come in and go like, wait, what happened to that? I totally saw that. They're like, yeah, we totally changed that. So that's the thing. Always be aware of that. Always, you know, have that in the back of your mind. But my friends, I hope you liked what you heard here and saw. Make sure you hit that like button. for uh, It helps the channel out a lot. And hit that subscribe button for more fun. Uh, we'd love to have you here as part of the Freak Show here on, on uh, the YouTubes and the, the Black Sheep of Gaming. My friends, have a good one. Remember to be kind. It's always about community. And we'll see you in the wasteland. Good day.